Well, hello everybody and welcome uh, to Let's Code for the Older Folks. My name's Les Thatcher. Today, today in this session, what we're going to be looking at is in the future, we're going to be looking at mobile devices. And when uh, we've got a mobile device, normally they're run by a battery. They're run by a battery. So it wouldn't be ideal once we turn this mobile device on it stays on continuously because it will just deplete the battery so what we can do we can run a sketch where it puts the device to sleep on this occasion excuse me our esp32 give you an example for instance you got one of them smart watches got it on nine times out of ten if it's a good one you turn it up it lights up, shows you the time, and when you put it away, it goes off. Well, that's what we're going to try and try and replicate, all right? And instead of movement and stuff like that, for now, we're going to do um, like a, an external wake up where you press a button. All right. Obviously, we're going to be using our MicroPython and our Thony IDE. And what we're going to do, first thing we'll do, we'll have a quick look at the circuit. Let's just have a quick look at the circuit. Let me make sure I know where I am. Let's go to there. Right, yeah, first thing, <clears throat> before we look at the circuit, is you have to use certain um, GPIO pins on the ESP32. They are called rtc pins there's plenty of them about if you look at this drawing you can see they're called rtc all right rtc similar to the analog converters the digital converters we have to use certain pins same with reactivating a device on this occasion we're going to be using a gpio 14. so let me go to uh, here I can right first thing i want to do is quickly just go through one of these push buttons now just to remind you the connections on a push button let me just go to over for a minute <clears throat> so here's our push button all right as you can see we got like claws like a crab right crabs legs then claws bend into each other so across there they are connected all right they are connected now if i turn it that way you can see there they look straight across there they are not connected right so when we attach this to the board it has to be that way around the claws facing each other and it goes over the trench they need to be separated because when they're connected you push down they're connected if you let up they're not or you can set it different values all right <clears throat> so that's our where that's explained the push button just a quick look at the uh the uh drawing Oh dear, we'll get there. Where has it gone? Right. Did I have... Did I have a drawing with it on? But it's simple enough. Simple enough. We've got our right hand pin. And that goes from... First instance, I've got a blue cable goes from the right hand pin and goes to pin 14 on the ESP32. I then have a 10k ohm resistor on the same row goes to ground. My ground rail. And then my left hand pin, right, opposite, 
and that goes to 3.3 volts we've done this circuit before just uh, look at that and you should be able to see that okay all right so that's the circuit right let's go over to our Thony IDE where we'll do the sketch where we'll do the sketch Pretty simple little sketch pretty simple little sketch so um let me just make sure i've got the right one <clears throat> okay now first a command import esp32 right import space esp32 i'll talk you through uh, what we do we'll write the um we'll write the sketch then we'll go through the code the different meanings all right so from machine space machine import space capital pin on the pin all right so from machine import in from machine import and this is the deep sleep all oh, small case import deep sleep and from time import sleep right. hmm. Okay, so that's our first part of the code. Next part is we need to uh, wake up our device. We're going to call that wake one. Right. That's our wake one, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be equal to pin capital P on the pin. Now I've, I've had a couple of comments. <laughs> now when I was at school at school in the UK. These were called brackets. America parentheses. All right. Parentheses. Okay, 14. Comma. Space. Mode. Space equals pin. Capital P on the pin. Dot in. That's telling us it's an input. All right. Our push button on pin 14 is an input and it's brackets all parentheses off. Now we need to a level parameter, all right? Level the parameter. So what we do, we go uh, ESP32. I know where I am. Dot wake underscore on underscore. EXT zero EXT zero brackets on parentheses pin equals wake one that's sending us come on wake up wake up oh, uh comma space level Space equals space ESP thirty two dot. This is all uppercase. Wake up. Underscore any. Underscore I. I means turn on. Okay, and parentheses or brackets off. Now our main code. Uh, first, we're going to do a print. Okay, parentheses quotes. Anything inside them quotes will be printed. Okay, I'm wait. Full stop. Space. Going to sleep. In ten seconds.
Close off parentheses brackets. Going to sleep in ten seconds. So sleep. Brackets on. Ten seconds. Brackets off. Parentheses off. I'm going to say brackets. Okay, I'm going to say brackets. Then print brackets. So going to sleep. Quotes. Brackets off. Okay, going to sleep, and I've forgotten everything anky dory. And then a last command sleep, sleep, on, off, parentheses, bracket. Right, that's our sketch. That's our sketch. What I'm going to do, come up here, give me a Save as Python device, and I'm going to call it main. I'm going to overwrite my main.py Python file. Okay. Do you want to overwrite? Yes. And there we go. Right. Successfully saved. Fingers crossed. We've got no errors in the code. And run current script. And there we are. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a little shitty cough. There we can go. I'm awake, going to sleep in 10 seconds. Going to sleep. So wait in 10 seconds. Now I'm going to reactivate it. I'm going to press the push button. Fingers crossed. I'm awake. Going to sleep in 10 seconds. Let's just wait for it to go to sleep. And there we are, going to sleep. Simple, a simple little sketch, but we are going to be ne needing a similar type of sketches when we go on to um, mobile devices. All right. I certainly learned something doing this. I've never, I haven't done it before. So uh, it's the first time me doing this uh, little, little project so hope you, hopefully you learned something uh, please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe and i'll see you in our next session bye bye for now